Water become more and more serious thing in our life, but not many people think about it because we did not think about where is the water come from. We just turn on the tap and we get water. We feel okay. We don't need to think much about that. Or we pay money, we buy, we got water to drink. But actually, we are about to have water crisis. A lot of people start to have not enough water to use in their life. So to have water filter system is the way that we can filter water for ourselves. We can depend on ourselves more. To do water filter system is very simple. We need two oil drums to start to make the charcoal first because we use charcoal as a main ingredient to filter the water. So the first drum, we need to open the lid, one side of the drum, but we need to keep the edge of the lid about one or two inches to make the shoulder to carry the lid when we want to close this drum. And then another side of the drum, we turn it up and then we make holes. We need to create holes as much as we can at another side of the drum. So this hole, it will help the air flow. It helps to increase the heat, the temperature in when we burn the charcoal. We can use any tools to make hole. We can use concrete chisel like this. You can use prick. Pricks is the easiest one. Or you can use axe or anything. But you cannot, it's not good to use grinder because it's more dangerous and too slow. So this is the size of the hole that we want or even more than that is good too. And the second drum, we cut the another side, the whole thing around the edge to use that part as a lid for the kill. And another side, we make a hole to make the chimney. So the bottom one, we use the wood in the bottom one and put the second drum on top as a chimney. And then we can burn the charcoal like this. You can see more detail at uh, another video I attached to the end of this video. You can see more detail about how to make the kill. And then in two hours, we can make charcoal like this. This is the fastest way to make charcoal and the best charcoal to filter the water because this charcoal from this technique, it will be very crispy, very light and easy to break and then have a lot of hole inside like sponge that will help to uh, absorb the chemical from our water. So today we have about 30 people came to the workshop, learn how to make charcoal, clean the sand and rocks in the first day. And the second day we learned how to uh, attach the four 200 liters drums together as a tool. In the past, we used this kind of float valve to put at the bottom of the first drum. That the first drum will go to the uh, rocks. So to use this one, it's quite complicated. We need to make a hole in the bottom. And then today, we got a new kind of float valve. This one is very simple and easy. We don't need to make a hole in the bottom, but we can put the water in can go on top like this and then the end of the pipe will go to the bottom of the drum. So the water will come from the bottom and push itself up through the rocks. Most of the big particle and iron will settle at the bottom of the rocks tank and only the clear water will go up through the rocks. And the clear water will overflow to the second tank. This is the second tank, it will be sand tank. The sand tank, we put the bricks in the bottom and then tiles and then nets and then sand, a lot of sand. When the water was filtered by sand, it's clean in one level and then it will go to the charcoal tanks. This tank will start with bricks and tiles and screens and sand and then charcoal, a lot of charcoal. So the water will be filtered to charcoal to screen all the chemical out. So the clear water will come to 
this tank. This will be the storage tank. The storage tank will be connected from the bottom to the kitchen. We want the water filter system to be higher from the tap at least uh, one meter. So we use concrete rings as a pillars and then we will use the concrete slab to put on top as a floor and then we can put the water filter tanks on top of the concrete slab. So this part is very important to make it level because if it's not level the water will not uh, the water will go to the lower part more or sometimes we have more empty space than we need. So if it's level, we use the space in the water filter tank effectively. It's good to check the level very well before we start it. When we put the pipe into the tank, we need to use tape like this. And then how to use the tape, we just put the tape on one side very thick. And when we push it in, this part has to be inside and the female uh, connector have to be outside. This, is, this one is male connector. So we twist into each other very tight, but not too tight because it can ruin the thread inside. So this is the way it works. Just go like this. The male will be inside, the female will be outside, and then twist it tight. And then the tape will help to keep it sealed very well. We don't need to use silicone if people who don't want to use silicone and then everything that all the ingredient that we will put in the filter we need to clean it very well rock and sand we need to clean it until the water clear charcoal we clean a little bit to make the dust out as enough or we can sift it and the bottom of the drum we need to put the bricks like this this is the way we put the bricks at the bottom and then to create the space a bigger space under the tank the uh, drum and then put tires on top of it it's good to break tires to put on to close the gap between the tile and then we put a screen on top of it the first tank every tank will be like this three tanks the first tank will be rocks so after we put the screen on top of the tiles we put rocks clean rocks in that on top of the screen we use uh, quite a lot of rocks fill up rocks until almost under the pipe the water will flow to another tank look at that pipe you can see this is the amount of rock this is the amount of sand and then charcoal is quite similar amount so this is the way we set up the system to filter our water so the charcoal we can make it smaller than that it will be good too if we can make it smaller but the last tank the fourth tank will be the storage tank from the storage tank we can connect the pipe to our house to the kitchen we can use it in our life so we don't need to buy water anymore and if you want to see the clear diagram you can check in website aqsolution.org there's a diagram in many languages in there you can print it out to use to make help you understand more and then I have two more videos about how to make the charcoal and how to make the filter water system like this in detail at the end of this video you can click it to see more detail when we finish the system like this we need to make the roof to cover the whole thing and all the drum need to be closed with the good lid so to prevent something to get in there then they will get the clean and clear water like this to drink this is the easy way and then we can fix it control it easily by ourselves because every stage we can do ourselves to have water in our hand that is the real freedom in our life so it's not too hard to store it our water underground and pump it up and filter it and use it. This is our water.